Wow! Cool. Hey everyone, it's Brett with a pre-intro intro. This is not a paid promotion, but I've been trying out different video editors because I won't buy until I try. The first few minutes of this video to try some effects, I used Wondershare Filmora, and they include this little video thingy that you just watched and a watermark on it. I like the software, but I haven't made up my mind yet, as I have a few others to try. But just a heads up that the watermark will remain on the screen for a little bit. Link to Wondershare Filmora is in the description below. Now we will return you to your regularly scheduled video. And thank you, Wondershare Filmora, for letting me do this trial version. What is up, everybody? Brett back here again for day number 11 of the 2020 Brewer's Advent Calendar. Realistically, it's day number 11. It's going to be day number 10 for me. Um, anybody who watched the last video, there was a slight packaging error um, made when this was shipped out. And I actually ended up getting the Fest beer twice. The... Uh, one that came from Hernbroy. So, what yesterday's was, I looked through on an untapped beer etiquette, and I figured that this was the mix-up. So the mix-up was, that was actually supposed to be a Hernbroy, another Hernbroy beer yesterday. It was supposed to be the Jubilaum Sud, which unfortunately was one I was really looking forward to trying, because it was a German-style Dunkel. Um, and I think it's the only Dunkel that comes out of it. My dog just came up here, so he's jumping around. He wants to make an appearance. Come here, come here buddy. Want to say hi to everybody? Come. Get up here. Say hi. Oh, no. That's not saying hi. Say hi. You gonna wave? Hmm? Good boy. This is Oscar. He's a little dachshund. So, hi. Say hi to everybody. You don't know what's going on, do you? <laughs> okay. We'll get you down. <laughs> Alrighty. But, um, yeah. There's no other dunkles on here. And I was really looking forward to having that because I do enjoy a good dunkel. Of course, there was the Dunkel Weizen the other night. Um, now, I'm not fully complaining here um, because mistakes do happen. Things happen. Not really upset about it um, because, as you recall, the Hernsbury tradition, that Oktoberfest beer that they made, I absolutely liked. It was my favorite one out of the pack thus far. So, no complaints that I get to have it twice now. I just don't get to experience the full thing, and that does make me a little sad, but... Eh, I'm over it already, because you know what? Today is December 11th, and we're going to be opening up another beer. So, not sure if that ended up happening with anybody else where they accidentally packaged it wrong. Um, like I said, mistakes happen. Things happen. Um, still, it's a great de deal to get 24 beers, and for me, 23 different beers, out of this. So, it's going to be great. Hopefully, next year, the Jubilaum Sud will be back in at the Dunkel, and I will be able to have it then next year fingers crossed we'll see but today we are going to going to go ahead and unveil day 11 that is today right yep day 11 of the advent calendar and let's see where 11 is at on here because it might be hard to find yeah i have it facing this way for that reason and i found it it's in the very back corner here. you know what we can we'll rotate it so you can see the, the massive unveiling Hopefully this one is a different beer than one I've had before, right? Yeah, hopefully this one's the actually a new one. So, is it going to be that smoked beer? I just had to say it because I always say it, so. Alrighty, so this one is a Bavarian Lager. Looks like it's called Grendel. Um, it's another Hellas, Hellas Lager, it looks like. It says Bavarian Lager on the front, but I'm going to confirm because it does look like a Hellas. So it just says this is a regular lager. That's what it says. That's what it says on here too. But it does say it is a Hellas lager underneath it. Um, underneath on the label you can see there. So looking forward to this because you know I like Hellas's too. Um, and this is a good pure Bavarian lager it looks like. And it even says uh, product of Germany on it. And on the front shows that it's aged patiently for a golden color and a classy taste. 5.1%. So you know the deal gonna go get this chilled and then later tonight we're gonna go ahead and drink it sorry the last video was so short by the way um it was short because like i said we didn't have a beer to drink because of the packaging mix-up so at the beginning of this video i also forgot to do a shout out so i'm gonna do it at the end here then i'm gonna do it at the very beginning of the next video too um remember no paid promotion from this this is just me shouting out to some of my favorite places um just giving them the recognition that they deserve while i'm covering some other stuff um, 
because all these breweries are getting recognition. They're some of my favorites I want to get recognition to as well. And by the way, these are all quickly becoming some of my favorite beers and breweries because they've all been great so far. So they all deserve the recognition. Kalia, if that's the proper way to pronounce the company that makes this, deserves the recognition. Buy their calendars next year. Just give me the recommendation because this has been great this far. Anyway, um, no paid promotion like I said. Uh, and you'll hear a lot more about a lot of these breweries later because I will be putting them on blog posts. I'll be making videos on them probably. And once COVID's over, hopefully I'll be able to travel to a lot of them again. So yesterday was Calumet Beer Exchange. Today is Smut Labs. As you can see here. So um, Smut Labs is... Um, they're the kind of research and development, the R&D sector of Smutty Nose. Um, and a lot of you know Smutty Nose, and that's why you, you might not have really heard of Smut Labs. Just walking by, I'm just making sure you can hear me properly. Smut Labs um, is located in Dover, New Hampshire. Um, right there in the Cochico Mills area. And there they... Uh, well... Last time I was there, I'll just say they have really amazing food and their beers are terrific. Now, the beer that they make are kind of smaller batch. They're on the smaller batch size. And what it is is that's where they test their beers out first. And then if it works out really well, then they end up getting promoted to the Smutty Nose label and sold through Smutty Nose. So what makes it great is a lot of their beers were experimental. Last time I was there, I was actually able to talk to their brewer and try one of the new creamsicle beers they had coming down the line and oh I hope that gets released soon and I'm able to get it because that was terrific. There were so many terrific beers and I'm saving that for a future blog post by the way. So if you're ever in the Dover, New Hampshire area, stop by Smut Labs, love their logo, love their beer, love their food, love the location right there in the old mill like I said too. So Cochico Mills, make sure you check them out if you're ever in that area. Definitely a place I recommend going. Tons of other breweries in that area, too, that I've been to as well, so we'll be discussing those later. So, that is it for now. A little bit later in the video, we will uh, be drinking the, the Grandel, so I will see you guys in a little bit. As always, thanks for watching. Universaladventures.com. Just a little throw out there, even though this is not the end of the video, so I'm just really confused right now. So, see you in a little bit. Hello everybody, Brett back out here again now, and we are going to try the Grandel. It's been a long day, it is definitely not the 11th anymore. Um, it's just after 1.30 in the morning on the December 12th actually. I was home, was getting ready to do this, got called back into work because we had a maintenance problem with one of our aircraft. Not going to get in any details with you or bore you guys with it. So we're going to go ahead and roll forward with this. So, I'm going to pull it up on the trusty end app again. And um, Grandel is a Bavarian lager, or a Hellas lager, as we discussed. Um, and Tap does have a label as a Hellas lager, and a Bavarian lager is, can, is normally a, a Hellas lager. Um, and then, you know, you have a darker one, which would be a Bavarian Dunkel. If you want to get into semantics of it, I'm not going to explain that today. I really just need this drink after the day I've had. So I'm going to definitely want to have this beer. That's my main goal right now. Um, it is done by um, either Anker Braai or Anker Braai. Um, Nordlingen. It's a contract brewery um, in Nordlingen, Bayern, Germany. So obviously a Bavarian lager comes from Bavaria. Imagine that. So that's what that is. I have had one friend that has had it. Um, 3.25 rating, not so bad. I'm not going to take that into effect with this here. So, um, let's just get going with it. Let's see it. You know I like my Hellas Lagers, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. So, nice product in Germany. It already smells really malty. Got that bread taste going. Snap a quick photo here. I like the can on this. It's simple yet it's effective. I don't know. Alright, I'll show you this really quickly. Look at that, huh? Kind of a
clearish yellow, except it's a little darker. It almost looks like apple juice. Small head on it, but an effective one at the same time. Because that head grainy. Grainy malt smell. Smells kind of sweet again. Just like, uh, you know, the, uh, a little bit more here. Other oh, Hellas Lager. This is a uh, plural. So let's see what we got. Lucy came to visit again, guys. So, time out. Sorry about that. She really just wants my attention right now. So I'm gonna quickly drink this so I can give her some attention. She's been missing me today. So, um, it is a sweet tasting beer. Again, just like the last Hellas. Um, it's grainy up front, and I'm still getting a sense of honey, kind of like I, I kind of had in the past. Not really a fruit taste with this one. I'm not getting any fruit. I'm getting more of a caramel, if anything. Um, so caramel and honey, besides your, your normal grain taste of a, of a, of a lager. Ooh. It tastes really sweet. It really does. Sweet up front, but a really clean, almost dry-like finish. Not saying like dry, like you know, wine dry finish, or like how you classify a lot of other beers as dry, but it has that finish to it. Um, it's very sweet. I'm really not getting any bitterness out of this one, but as we discussed with last night's, I'm gonna wait till it gets a little lower to see um, any bitterness that I am getting. Slight caramel like bitterness almost, so like caramel malt bitterness essentially almost no hop bitterness whatsoever. And I'm really not getting much out of a hop flavor either, and generally in some lagers you won't get that anyway. Um, and these tend to be extremely malt forward beers, so that's absolutely fine. Um, That's the only slight bitterness that I'm getting. It's almost in the aftertaste. Is that slight caramely bitterness to it. Um, other than that, it's just really malty up front. Almost that doughy malt again. It feels like that's been the story of these beers. And that's not a bad thing at all. Um, that's what helps make them a lot sweeter. And this is a sweet beer. I do like it. Um... Is it up there in line with the hell, the other hellas that we had? No, not necessarily, but I still would give this, a, it's still an upper echelon for one, in my opinion. So getting lower, I'm almost getting a kind of mineral taste to it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Don't generally get that too often, but overall it doesn't like ruin anything for me. I still think this is a pretty good beer. My rating on it. I don't know. I have to think that through here. Let's see the can again. Check the can one more time. Should see my untapped photo. Yeah, it'll be up at the end. You don't need to see it right now. Yeah. I don't know. I gotta. What does untapped say the flavor profiles are? Flavor profiles that are recommended match mine. Light, smooth, clean, sweet, malty. Yeah, that's about it. I would add that slight honey flavor, but the honey flavor and the caramel bitterness aren't even enough to add as a flavor profile. It helps enhance the beer that it is, but it's not enough to be like that. Like, So that's where we sit with that. Um, a solid 3.8, my opinion. Uh, really solid Bavarian lager, solid Hellas lager. By any means, I'd recommend trying it to anybody who has a chance to try it. Um, but not quite up to the level that Hell was. But still, a really easy drinking beer that I could drink several of. Like, I could, I could down this all day long. It would be an all-day Hellas lager. 
Um, by the way, this is 5%. The can says 5.1, untapped says 5%. Um, IBU number is not available, so. Um, 3.8 is a good rating. I mean, that's more than middle of the pack for me, and that's also middle of the pack for a lot of Hellas lagers I've had, so not a bad one. Um, so tomorrow we're heading to day 13. We'll open up another one. This is getting a lot lighter when I get it up here to film, by the way. And there are going to be 24 videos. Uh, there's actually going to be 25 because the one yesterday, obviously, I didn't really film me drinking it. But I do have a replacement video in mind. It just depends on if I can swing it. And it's going to be a very interesting one, so you're not going to want to miss it. It'll be uploaded slightly after Christmas, and it's going to be the capstone of this whole series. So you're not going to want to miss that. Um, but as for this one, 3.9, sweet malt taste, and that's pretty much what it is. It's just that sweet, malty taste, um, which for the day I've had, anything will work for me. And I like malt-forward beers. I like hoppy beers. There's almost no hot flavor in this one, like I said, but this maltiness for today is really hitting home with me. It's really doing it. And like I said, it's very, it's like that slight honey taste. That slight caramel taste and that slight caramel bitterness to it. And for me today, that is the creme de la creme. That is the mmm. I'm loving it. So, 3.8, baby. Let's have some more of that mineral taste. Not bad, though. Doesn't ruin it at all. Hey, healthy then, right? Mineral? Healthy. I really don't know what's causing that. I'm going to have to look that up. Never really noticed it. Maybe there's other beers that I've had that I had, and maybe I'm just noticing it now. I don't know. But I know I'm just rambling now, so that means it's time for me to sign off. So tomorrow I'll be back to open another beer. And while you're watching this, why don't you go ahead and crack open a cold one because you've deserved it for sitting with me for this long. Alrighty. Till next time, my friends. I'm Brett. You're you. You're awesome if you like, comment, and subscribe. And also subscribe at www.universeofadventures.com. And follow me on Facebook at Universe of Adventures. And follow me on Instagram at Universe of Adventures. And follow me on Twitter at Universe of Adv That's Universe of ADV. Do it. Do it now. And then we can really be friends. Alrighty. Until next time, remember, and here's another shout-out to Smut Labs. I mentioned them earlier, but... Cheers to them. Prost, everybody. It's to you, to everybody this holiday season. I'm thinking of everybody. It's been a rough 2020 for everybody, um, obviously with the pandemic. So I'm really hoping that 2021 treats everybody better. All right. Tune in, hang in there, guys, and we'll see you next time. All right. Cheers.